With that being done, once again, let's burn some calories and transform our one pack to six pack abs. One of the few afternoon tours is Tentelina Tours. It costs about 30 to 40 dollars, so shop around and bargain and <laughs> bargain hard. As for any tour, it begins with a hookup in your hotel. I mean, pickup that is. The tour consists of taking a ride on a speedboat tour to Las Tentelinas, a chain of small islets located on the southwest of the town. The name Tentelinas of Islet derives from the white-tipped sharks that inhabited the water surrounding the islet. This biodiverse site is home to sea lions, sea turtles, matamata rays, and galactical penguins. In the edge of the land, you get to see many blue-footed boobies, a marine bird native to the subtropical and tropical region of the eastern Pacific Ocean, easily recognizable by its distinctive bright blue feet, which is sexually selected trait. So yes, the darker the color, the popular it is with the babes. I mean, booby babes. inside the trail. If you go to take a picture, remember, we don't use a flash in our pictures, okay? The tour also includes a hike with a moderate difficulty around the island. Some parts of the path are a little rocky, so make sure to bring a pair of hiking boots. Are we, all, are we walking on lava? Yes, we got that right. We, got, uh, we are walking on a lava. On a clear day, you're able to see some white tippet sharks without the need to go for a swim. <laughs> During the hike, there's 1000% certainty you'll get a really bad sunburn without a strong sun lotion. Secondly, there's 100% chance you'll see lots of marine iguanas, or sea iguanas, or saltwater iguana, or <laughs> galactical marine iguanas. It is a species of iguana found only on the Galapagos Islands. This iguana feeds almost exclusively on algae, and the large male dive to find its food source, while females and smaller males feed during the low tides. Marine iguanas vary in appearance and size, and between different islands and several subspecies are recognized. Although relatively large numbers remain, it is locally abundant. This protected species is considered threatened, primarily from El Nino, induced predators and chance events like oil spills. <laughs> and of course, you definitely will catch few of these friends along the way. And these colorful little guys, the Sally Lightfoot crabs, one of the most common crabs along the western coast of the Americas. The crabs live among the rocks at the often turbulent to windy shores and just above the limit of the sea spray. Uh, they are not picky eaters, often feed on algaes primarily, uh, sometimes sampling other plant matters and ugh, dead animals. Yikes. After all that hike, it's time to get wet, but uh, we won't need to go far. I will be snorkeling between the narrow channels. As you can see, the visibility are not so impressive. <laughs> wow, that's really beautiful. The crabs. 